and done. That takes care of the report. Hmm? Who's there? Mine. Hans? Did you come here all by yourself? Boy, you sure are smart. Mine, thank. Hey, stop tugging, Hans. What's up? Is there something this way? Okay, okay, I get it. Lead the way. And you can stop biting my boots already. You went and got Welkin for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Oh no, I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Walken? Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. Really? Oh, good. I whipped a little something up for you. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa! Wow! I've never seen so much bread in one place! You baked all this yourself, Alicia? Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I made anything. I was worried I might be getting a bit rusty. But the oven was free, so I helped myself. Mmm. It smells great! Okay. Here goes. Um, mm, mm. <sighs> Welkin, you okay? Delicious. Really? Yeah. I've never eaten bread this good. It's really impressive. Um. A chipmunk. You know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why. Oh, I'm so full. That was great, huh, Hans? I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary watching you two eat. Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. You're welcome. Oh, Welkin, uh, you have some... There's just a little crumb. There we go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you said you worked at a bakery before the war started? Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. Wow. You need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. It's been my dream since I was a little girl. It's what I enjoy doing the most. I love imagining entire families eating the bread I make together. A loving husband, maybe, and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home. She comes in with a big basket of my bread, and the kids all cheer and embrace her. Okay. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? She could say, Oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard, and then she'd... <laughs> uh... Listen to me. <laughs> That's just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin, but I, um... Are... are you all right, Alicia? Huh? I, I'm fine. Anyway, 
I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. It's a deal. And thanks again. strange place. Rocks with holes in them. Dug up ground as far as the eye can see. Not always. They say this used to be a huge ancient city. Now there's nothing but desert left. We all know what happened. The Darkson Calamity happened. They say the Dark Hairs used some kind of dark arts to burn the city. Left nothing but ash can't see what kind of magic it used to burn up this much land, though. It's just crazy. I don't know. Isara said that was a myth with no real historical evidence. Look, their kind has been digging up Ragnite since forever. So who's to say they don't know some weird, dark -y type way to use the stuff as a weapon? I'm just saying. Anyway, as I was saying, we are in the middle of the Badlands. And what exactly are we doing here? We've received some intelligence. They're saying the Imperials have set up a base near the Barius ruins. Squad 7 was sent out here to investigate. We need to verify the information. Imperians here? Some sandbox to come play in. I don't get those Imperians. Who knows what they're thinking? <laughs> She's right. Something is definitely up here. I mean, I just can't figure it out, you know? Why would they occupy this place? Enemy sighted! Tanks at 040. Distance 800. Hold on. Yes. There are foot soldiers as well. And they're taking up combat positions. Well, it looks like we found our bad guys. Squad 7, combat formation. Hmm. I didn't think you could look any gloomier. Oh, it's you. Leave me be. No need to be unfriendly, is there? Is there something on your mind, Gregor? His Grace Maximilian. Barius holds no strategic worth. Why lead a force there himself? He took Selvaria with him, so it probably has something to do with the Valkyrer. His Grace places too much stock in the power of the Valkyrer. Maybe. But I can understand the fascination easily enough. The power of the Valkyrer is enough to claim all of Europa. Maybe the entire globe. Even without it, the Empire's military strength is quite capable of taking control of Europa. The stronger you are, the shorter that road. <laughs> I say let him be. My homeland's independence is riding on Maximilian's word. I need him to return to the court with enough clout to honor that deal. Relax. We'll hear all about their desert adventures soon enough. Huh? What's this supposed to be anyway? What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins interior. The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? 
This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrie themselves. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkyrie make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Valkyrie just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. Welkin, you can be such a... Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? What do you read, child? Valkor, the Holy Lance, scorcher of the vast earth. Asleep eternal in the bosom of Randrys. Made pillar of its keeper's keep. Kept thereby for eon without end. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Randrys' walls. But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. Ten hundred thousand men and beast therewith. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. So they did use Ragnite. 
It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrer suddenly came into the picture. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. That became the War of the Valkyrer. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the European map, traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrer did exist. Wow, this is so educational. The Valkyrie won and rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrie as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with a stigma of their past and were persecuted. With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. Which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. I never knew that. Come to think of it, Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. Let's keep checking for Imperial tracks. I've been looking. But I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. What's got you, Rosie? Ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the runs or something. You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. Take some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around! How much more proof do you need? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darksons cause trouble for others. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... All right, time out, you two. You stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking, and we're likely to get sniped. You too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. <sighs> Stubborn as mules, both of you. Faldio, what is that? It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Okay, so what is it? I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Oh, I didn't know that. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. Well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. Sure, let's go.
Alicia, what just happened? I don't know. I barely even touched it and this door just opened. Oh. It looks like it keeps going. An underground chamber in the Barrios ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Do you have to ask? All right, let's take a look. Whoa, what is this place? It seems like it goes on forever. everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Welcome. We're not alone. Who's there? Well, how surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Uh, guys, that's Maximilian. Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. Hold it right there! You take one more step and I'll shoot you down, I swear I will! Ugh! What? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, but I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. If you are determined to have this confrontation, why don't we settle it outside? Welkin! Welkin? So, you're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. Silvario, come. Sir. Oh, now's our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Faldio. Let's go! Uh, right. Lord Maximilian. Cobalt flames of the Valkyra! Smite our foes! All forces! There stands Gallia! Claim her!
drove the Empire back, but not without sustaining heavy casualties ourselves. We never thought the commander of the entire Imperial force would be there. Not just the commander. Maximilian had that woman with him. What was she? I can't believe she's human. In her hands born Cobalt Lance and Shield, therewith to strike down all man's arrows. What? One account of the Valkyra describes them in those terms. You can't mean that she... But they existed thousands of years ago. If they'd survived, we'd know. I'm not saying I'd buy all the legends either. I realize that it sounds a little crazy. But what we saw out there could only have been the Valkyria of legend. I know. Having been driven back, the Empire retreated from Barius, and Squad 7 began its return to the capital of Randgris. I'm worried, boss. The scouts were due back a long time ago. I haven't heard a thing. Welkin, we should look. The enemy could be closer than we think. Right. the tank if you get hurt! Largo! We've got to move our butts now! Two more minutes and we'll be dead! Damn! No choice. We're outnumbered. Everybody take cover! Come on, Isara! Now! Right. Like we got separated when that blast threw us down here. Oh. Alicia, there are probably still Imperials camped out up there. It's just a matter of time until they spot us here. We should move as soon as we can. Are you hurt anywhere? Do you think you can walk? I think I'm fine. Scratch that. I think my ankle sprained, actually. But I should be okay. It's not too bad to walk on. Sorry, I know it hurts. But you've got to tough it out for now. Of course. Great. Now, let's try to sneak out of this mess before we're spotted. Who'd build a cottage way out here? Not that I'm complaining or anything. How's your ankle holding up? Sorry to make you walk so far on it. No, it's not too bad. Don't worry. That's good. Still, let's get an herbal compress on it just in case. It just figures you'd know about herbs, Welkin. <laughs> well, this here is called Aloe Severa. It's a succulent in the lily family. There's a jelly substance inside its leaves that helps combat swelling. <laughs> I should start calling you Dr. Nature. 
Very well, Doc. I entrust my ankle's care to you. All right, that should do it. How's it feel? A little weird? No, it's nice and cool. Thanks, Doc. I'm just glad we found something to help you. The pain should ease with time, too. So, Welkin, what got you interested in nature to start with? Well, I don't know. I guess it had a lot to do with my dad's influence. General Gunther's? Yeah. Whenever he came home, we'd take a trip collecting bugs in the mountains or swimming. Somewhere along the way, going on those trips turned into a love of nature for me, too. The general out collecting bugs? That's unexpected. Maybe so. I guess other people see him as a big, stoic military hero. He had his own share of worries, though. Yeah? My mom died as a casualty of the first European war. I don't think Dad ever got over the fact that he couldn't protect her. But everybody else was always praising him for being a great hero. The war won him respect and adulation, but it also cost him the love of his life. I think that always weighed on him, that question of what he fought the war for. I had no idea. But when he was out in the woods playing with me, he was always so bright and happy. Maybe I fell in love with nature because it always put the smile back on my dad's face. Oh, Welkin. Alicia, someone's coming. Freeze! Uh, Woken, what? He's badly wounded. I'm surprised he can even walk. Help me. Welkin, do something! Well? It's no use. The wound's way too deep. It hurts. It's so dark. Oh, God, Mother! Mother! It's okay. Don't be afraid. Mother's right here. Everything's fine. See? Yes. It's... <sighs> you find the boss and Alicia? No, still nothing. Isara, how about you quit messing around and help us look? The Edelweiss still requires maintenance. Your own brother's gone missing here, and you'd rather be doing maintenance work than look? It's because he's missing that I'm doing this. We have no idea when he'll be back, but... Making sure the Edelweiss is ready for him is the best thing I can do for him now.
<laughs> Not like I care either way. I hear what you're saying, kid. Just be sure you rest up while you can. You've been working since first thing this morning. Your Squad 7's only tank pilot. If you pass out on us, we're all toe up, hear me? Getting a good night's rest is another thing you can do for your brother right now. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Largo. Sure. Wilkin, I... I couldn't do anything for that poor man. He was lying there asking me for help, but all I could do was watch him die. That's not true. You helped him in a way only you could, Alicia. The look on his face when he passed on wasn't one of pain. No, I guess you're right. Thank you, Welkin. I'd always just thought of the Imperials as monsters out to kill Gallians. But they're just as human as we are, huh? With families of their own to fight for. Yeah, they are. It's like the war started and we all forgot that. It's so simple, but... If we weren't at war, he might be back at home with his family now. <sighs> hey, Welkin. Did I ever tell you I don't have one? A family, I mean. I grew up in an orphanage. I don't even know my parents' names. No, you didn't. But maybe I'm actually lucky, huh? If you... If you never have a family in the first place, you can't ever lose them. I guess being all alone has its perks. <laughs> Don't even joke about it. You know you're not alone. You've got me and East, everybody in Squad 7. We're all a family now, Alicia. Squad 7? A family? Sure. I'm the dad, you're the mom, Rosie and Isara are like daughters. And Largo is the grandpa. Come on, can't you see it? <laughs> if he heard that, you know Largo would kick your butt. Sure, we have our share of fights, but they say that best friends fight the most, right? Yeah. So don't go saying you're all on your own, you hear me? All right, Welkin. And thanks. The helmet and rifle? They belong to Fritz, sir. Are you two the ones who laid him to rest? Yes. There are signs of medical treatment inside the cabin, sir. Why then? Explain to me the reasons you had to save his life. He was delirious. He was crying out for his mother. We may be enemies in this war, but we all have families waiting for us at home. As a human being, I couldn't just sit by and watch a man in pain without trying to do something. We always called him a mama's boy, sir. And now... Sorry, Fritz. I wish we could have been there for you. And you, son, do you have a family? Yes. I have a younger sister. And I have another sort of family as well. 
I have the soldiers of my squad. I see. I have a wife and daughter back at home. I feel the same as you. My men are like a second family to me. Thank you. Thank you for honoring Fritz as you did. I'm sure his mother will appreciate it. I suppose we'll meet again on the battlefield. I'm sorry for that. You both seem like good people. For now, so long. Well, I guess we should hurry back and join the squad. You're right. Lieutenant Gunther reporting for duty. We really missed you, boss. Lieutenant, that is. Isara, aren't you going to welcome your brother back home? <laughs> you was worried about him, weren't you? Welcome back, Welks. I'm glad you're all right. Thanks. So am I. Largo and Rosie, thank you for looking for my brother. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Having some dark hair thank me. Well, it's weird. Good to see him in one piece, though. You gotta admit that, right? When you said that Squad 7 was like your second family, it made me feel... I felt really happy. So... Thanks for that, Welkin. Welkin Gunther reporting, Captain. Hey, Welkin. You got called in too, Folio? I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. What? But why us? It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. The event will be held tomorrow at the castle. Oh. I'm not really good with the formal stuff. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? They say that House Rangrees, the Archdukes of Gallia, are descended from the Valkyra. If that's true, Princess Cordelia herself is a Valkyria, and we get an audience with her. Well, yeah, I guess. Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. I'll meet you both at Castle Rangrees tomorrow evening. You're dismissed until then. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. I hope they don't mess this up. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Goodness, Welkin, I hardly recognized you. Yes, Captain. Alicia helped me get ready this evening. She kept punching me when I told her she couldn't come with me. I'm still sore. <laughs> well, consider it combat experience. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Very funny, Faldio. Nice hat, by the way. Yeah, I never did like the look of these ugly things. 
I've been boycotting them. Hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellett. Here to cover the banquet tonight? You know it. Apparently, an ambassador from the Federation's been invited to the party. I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. He's using her youth as carte blanche to do whatever he and the other nobles want. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Your Highness, thank you for your presence on this occasion. Might you grace this assemblage with a word? Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Gallia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Gallia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But, while Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. Is that not so, Princess? Yes. I draw strength from the Valkyrian bloodline, and my heart is a repository of justice. I am nearly at a loss for words. The privilege of brokering peace with you, your highness, has been the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. With bountiful stores of Ragnite, and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful, and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. <laughs> They just want to be sure they're the ones who control us when this is over. Make no mistake, the Federation would conquer Europa the same as the Empire. This is stupid. It is hard to accept what he's saying. As long as we fight as one, the Empire's forces will never be a danger. We shall topple the Empire and rid the world of their threat. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Absolutely. All we want is to keep our homes and our families safe. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> Where are you going? I've got a bad taste in my mouth. This is garbage. I'm out of here. I'm going home, Welkin. See ya. Faldio? <sighs> I'm glad that's over. We should be heading back soon. I believe the exit was this way. Oh! Princess Cordelia! 
I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. I cannot begin to apologize. Please forgive my clumsiness. Do not trouble yourself. I bid you a safe return and a good night. <sighs> Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? Please forgive me. I'm aware that what I'm saying may be out of line. But I... Seeing you tonight, I got the feeling that your opinion is being ignored. I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I need only live by the laws set forth by those who come before me. I bid you once more, good night. Your Highness, Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. You know the plan. Have the armored car on standby. Once I have the mark, I'll be there. Well, I'll leave you here. Good night, Wilkin. Good night, Captain. Wait! Hold it, Farad! Farad! Terrible news! General Damon, what's the problem? P Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? It can't be! Yes! It was that Federation ambassador! He was a spy all along! So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Typical, considering the sorts of backroom dealings and extortion they've used till now. So get on it! Farad, you've got to get her back! Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. Hey, Casey! What is that thing? It's an airplane. The first test flight succeeded during EW-1. Now research is going on all over the world. Whoa, so this is what one of those things looks like. Man, I want up in one. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris. Hey, Sara, you got the day off. What are you hanging around here for? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? Yes. There's still a ways to go before it's complete, but the basic construction is done. Leave it to you, Isara. You learned all this on your own? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. That's amazing. I'm so impressed. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird-watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's my goal. I've been pursuing this project bit by bit in my free time. Oh, that's real sweet! Isara, can I ask you a favor? Please, let me help you build your airplane. What? I want to become an engineer of your caliber someday, Isara. 
I feel like watching you work would help me learn a great deal. Please, Isara. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, then can I help out too? Come on. You don't mind? Of course not. I may not look bright, but I've been working my butt off in R&D for a while. Of course. Well, thank you both. All right! That's... that's the emergency siren. What's happening at this hour? Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Absolutely. I'll help you prep it. Your Highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. Can it, Rosie? That's the Princess of Gallia you're talking to. No, it's quite all right. She speaks the truth. As Scion of the Valkyrer, it is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. You too, Welkin. Have a little respect here. Every living thing in this world struggles to live and pass life on to a new generation. They use all the instincts and animal wisdom they can just to live that one day longer. That powerful animal will to live is... I think it's a beautiful part of nature. <sighs> Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. The old ways and traditions you follow may be important to uphold. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say, and I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. It is indeed mine to consider my life's role within the Valkyrian bloodline. Your Highness. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. But time enough remains to consider my role by my own will. Thank you for your words, Lieutenant. Not at all. Wow, even a princess's gut will wake up and say hi when it's empty. I... I am. Rumbling bellies are a clever bit of animal wisdom all humans share. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Here you are, Your Highness. Thank you kindly. I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. All right, let's get Her Highness back to the capital. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, 
was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Lieutenant Welkin Gantha, step forward. Sir, for excellence in valor and deed, you are hereby awarded this honor. Your Highness, please bestow the medal upon the young lieutenant. Gladly. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Your Highness. Oh, and know that one tradition already lies sundered by my will. I had the cooks add cinnamon rolls to my daily breakfast. Alicia will be happy to hear it. Lieutenant Gunther, you forget yourself. Sir, my apologies. With this, today's ceremonies are ended. Highness, would you grace us with a word? Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Please, be safe. Welkin, I'm coming in. Sure, it's open. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? If word got out about what happened, Galia's relationship with the Federation would suffer. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Wow. Welkin, this hurts. It's painfully obvious how shaky Galia's standing is. I know the world's history is an endless chain of big fish eating little fish. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong, its history and its nature. A minor nation like ours is an easy mark, even before you add the rift within our army. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. I don't know what to tell you, Faldio. Figure this has got to be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Oh, back into the field again? Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. The higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the Princess, and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Ooh! That's great news! Are you serious? 
Music to my ears. How wonderful. There's more. We've been granted access to a stretch of shoreline owned by House Randgrees. House Randgrees owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. No way. That princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. <sighs> okay. Wow, it's been years, huh? This should be fun, though, Ys. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this break. Enjoy it. Dismissed. Wow. You can really tell this is a private beach. It's beautiful. The water's so blue. There's not many places this well-preserved around anymore. <gasps> Look at those white wings. Hi, Welkin. <sighs> this, uh, swimsuit was Rosie's idea. Really, I tried to tell her no. I just... I wasn't sure I could pull it off. Um, what do you think? Do I look okay? Uh, mm, mm, it's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. That is... You're, you're as pretty as a white-winged gull. I look like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so... That was a compliment? You bet it was. The white-winged gull is... Just about my favorite bird. Okay. Then thanks, Welkin. Someone's taking this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Rosie! Don't try to pretend. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant, the nervous some girls. Rosie, you're the one who told me to get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going in the water. <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't lose your top. Hey. <laughs> hey, Elks. Oh, hey, Ace. You having fun? I am. Been a while since we've come to the beach, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Weren't you afraid of the water, Ace? I remember you clinging to that floaty porcavian. We tried to drag you out, and you started bawling. Welkin, I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> right, sorry. You must be a great swimmer by now. That's... none of your business. Welks! Here goes, Welkin! Ah! Uh, uh. Noink? And down goes the boss. Man, those kids get too much energy. <laughs> You're sounding like an old man, Largo. What? I ain't that old. Oh, no. Then why did you just sound like my grandfather, hmm? Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? I thought you'd like that. Nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids. Not at my age. Whatever you say, Granny. You know better than I am, are you? 
You haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted. You still can't recognize a joke. And you still got a mouth on you. Think I'd keel over if that changed. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely compliment. Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Largo. No Frederick stories. Oh. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. No. I should apologize. I'm going for a little walk. Hell? East! Over here! Pass the ball over here! Isara! Nail him! Go! Uh, okay. Frank. Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. All by yourself, huh? Why don't you go join them? Nah, that's not my thing. Always have to play it cool, huh? Hmm. <laughs> so what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? <laughs> Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh ho ho! You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? <laughs> But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm. <laughs> now get over there already. They're all waiting for you. Well, I could take pity on him. And it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun. <laughs> You're a piece of work. All right, guys, make room for me. Oh, a promising contender joins the fray. Rosie, think you could pair up with Isara? What? Sure, fine. Isara, pull your weight or you're swimming. Okay, I'll do my best, Rosie. All right, throw the ball, Isara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it! You're supposed to throw it that way! Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia's taking back the city of Fausen. Fausen's that big industrial city with all those Ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Gallia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? The militia will break up into squads and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. An armored...
armored rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. Yeah, okay, so we destroy it. Any idea how we take on a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, Ross. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Support? Like who? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. According to Captain Varat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. Here I get my hopes up and it's just some dark hair? Got any more great news? What do you mean by that? Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. Sure could have fooled me. I couldn't tell you dark hair's apart if I tried. I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. No, you just didn't. Oh, just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say work with a Darkson, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises if this guy turns out to be useless, you hear? Well, we can't know for sure until we meet him but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Fausen at first light. The attack begins at sundown. Oh, this stench is unbearable. Please, some food, sir. Even water would... Keep your distance! Sumptuous, dark-haired, filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? You rang? I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. Folks from other camps working D-Sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. That's where they handle Ragnite Refinery. Sure the toxic exhaust's being handled right? Hmm. <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work stops getting done. That doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. you folks here and how'd you get in welkin gunther is my name i was told there was a militia sympathizer here well you heard right welkin i'm your guy i'm zaka it's nice to meet you hey pumpkin i've got to talk some adult stuff with these folks would you be a good girl and go to bed for me 
Okay, good night. She's sweet. She your kid's sister? No. Both her parents died a while back. They were victims of torture. Torture? That's just horrible. Listen, we have a lot of work to do. Follow me, let's get started. As you can see, Thousand's factories are located on the canyon's edge, split between an upper and lower level. There's an armored train that services those factories. It moves on rails built into the upper level, shooting downward. If it's up there, it's completely out of our range. How do we attack it? Glad you asked. We take it down with this little wonder. It's a Ragnite bomb. I made it myself. I've been sneaking spare parts from under the Empire's watch for weeks. I can guarantee its power. You think one bomb's gonna blow this thing up? I'm not proposing we use it on the train. We use it on this. I get it. We take out the rails. Then the train drops into the canyon from the bridge. Exactly. You can leave the setting of the bomb to me. I want all of you to provide a diversion so I can get in there and attach the package to a strut. Once I've wired it and gotten a safe distance away, I'll give you a signal. Then you'll detonate it and destroy the bridge. Right. Sounds good. Did you have any questions about the mission then? No, I got it. Is there something else? Forget it. Oh, I get it now. You're wondering if you can trust me because I'm a Darkson, yeah? <clears throat> if you don't mind me asking, tell me something you like. What? Something you enjoy. There's gotta be something, right? Um, singing, I guess. I like to sing and listen to other folks. A musician, huh? Nice. I like to sing too. Nothing beats a nice tune and a little stroll. Music can pick you up or make you cry. <laughs> Anthems can drive a whole country to war. That's the great thing about music. Variety. Every song is different, but it's all good. Yeah, I guess so. So what are you getting at? If you appreciate diversity in music, why hate all the Darksons? What? There's plenty of races in the world. Each has its traits, but people are all unique. Just like with music. They've all got their good points. Well, I think so anyway. <sighs> Singing's more fun with a chorus, right? I agree, Zaka. There are over 30,000 kinds of beetles in the world, each with its own characteristics. It's the same for us, too. Ugh. Another one of the boss's nature talks. Beetles? <laughs> well, that's a new one. I never heard a man compare people to bugs in a good way before. I'd have to agree, though. Bickering won't do us any good. Let's try to make nice. Hmm. Okay. The operation begins tomorrow at dawn. I want everyone ready for combat. Hey, why the long face? You worried? Oh, Mr. Zaka. I just can't believe it. Believe what? I'd heard stories of the concentration camps. About the harsh labor forced upon detainees. But seeing it happen in person, I... It just seems too cruel to be true. Yeah. But this is the truth. I... The world is no friend of the Darksons. That's the truth of it. And this war has stirred up prejudice in people, so they behave inhumanely. I 
can sympathize with wanting to look away, but facing the truth makes a person grow. Mr. Zaka. And hey, we're still young. Let's enjoy life. It's up to us to change other folks' minds. Yes, you're right. Thank you, Mr. Zaka. As long as we don't stop reaching out, the day will come when others will accept us. Righto. But for now, it's late. The mission starts at dawn. Make sure you get some rest. I will. Good night, Mr. Zaka. everyone. They forced everyone to go into this building, then set it on fire. For what? Just a kid. Somebody tell me who did this. I'll tear their stinking heads off! And what would that accomplish? Revenge! That's what? Fight fire with fire? An eye for an eye? Didn't enough people die today? Even if our traditions lead us to death at the hands of others, we don't respond with violence. When we die, we die for peace. That is how the Darkson live their lives. Now those lives are gone. Forever. But why? I could hate them. Maybe even kill them. But that wouldn't bring those people back. All I can really do is try to survive and help the ones who are still here. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. There could be other survivors. Everybody, help us look! Thanks in part to Squad 7's efforts, militia forces reclaimed the city of Fausen. Returning from battle, the squad's members enjoyed a brief and well-deserved respite. I was walking across base just now, and the guys from Squad 2 stopped me. They said everybody felt like we got Fausen back because of us Sevens. Well, yeah. We took down that train, after all. I want a medal. I wonder how Zaka and everyone are doing. I hear most of the detainees have either stayed on in Fausen or evacuated to Rangri's. Oh. Well... I hope they're all doing well now. Yo. M Mr. Zaka? Huh? Wait, that uniform. Oh, this? As of today, I'm a Gallian militia man, same as you. They put me in your squad, so we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Wait, just a... Can you even fight? What was all that about living the Darkson way? Eh, don't sweat the details, right? And I've got experience as a tank commander. My ride's on the smaller side, but you can leave the ground unit support to me. And I thought your boss was pretty righteous. I figured I'd tag along and see for myself. What? Me? Well, we didn't get to talk much, but you've got a fresh perspective, you know? Hmm. I guess so. I don't think I'm much different than other folks, though. 
Welkin, you're so clueless. Anyhow, I'm excited to join the team. <laughs> huh.